Hi everyone, Trish here. I hope that you're doing well. Today I am coming to you bright and early. It is just barely eight o'clock. I have a little tiny bit of daylight. It is super foggy outside. I have some additional lighting in here and it is cold. <laughs> I think it was 39 last night and there's something wrong with our furnace. That's why I have my sweatshirt on. So um, the furnace guy's going to be here today, this morning, hopefully around 10 and get us going because let me tell you, when the alarm goes off at 5.30 and it is so cold that I get out of bed and I'm shivering, <laughs> it's cold. So today I thought, you know what, I wanted to try some new products that I have not had a chance to try and I have a haul in bags that is sitting there waiting but I wanted to give these things a try first because I knew if I didn't that I would they just keep getting I didn't want them to shuffle any I didn't want them to shuffle anymore so I am going to be using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint Foundation because I'm trying a new primer today and when I try a new primer I like to use a foundation that I know what to expect from it I get a better read than trying a new primer and a new foundation both at the same time. That way if there's an issue and have to go back and play the guessing game as to which thing it was. I wanted to try the peach but I just realized I think I have to self tan to try it. But yeah that's going to be way too dark for me right now. Yeah so I will try the the foundation I've worn it once before but I also got the primer I want to try with it so I'm going to I'm going to stick with the Hydro Boost from Neutrogena and I'm going to be using I'm going to be using the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer with it even though it's cooled down oh it comes out like a um almost the color of the foundation that I need is what it looks like I'm sure that most of y'all have already seen it. For those of you that have not used or seen anything about the Neutrogena Hydro Boost, I was first introduced to this with um, Cassie from Shades of Cassie and I believe Carol from the Ocar yes because Carol actually went to her local drugstore and took pictures to um, help me determine the colors because in the, a lot of the colors they're really close really similar this is number 40 nude but big applicator very similar to this brush i just got from real techniques um very similar to the clinique foundation that's so popular i forget the name i am going to go in with the second application just because i do like more of a coverage i am trying to use up these two eyebrow pencils these are not my favorite eyebrow pencils by any means but i had gotten these i think they were buy two get two free the alta let me see what it is alta slim brow pencil alta alta ultra slim eyebrow pencil and the revlon color stay Okay, I have not used this palette. This is the City Mini City Mini palette from Maybelline. This is the one that Shayla came out with. I mean, these colors are loaded down pigmented, but there is no crease matte color. Let me see what I'm gonna do about that. I think I'm gonna just grab this. The Urban Decay Naked Unlimited palette. How about the Urban Decay? How about the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Palette? How about the Ultimate? How about the Urban Decay? <laughs> how about the Urban Decay Ultimate? Oh my gosh, the Urban Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics Palette. <laughs> how about the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics Palette? <laughs> I just tried to say that seven times and screwed it up every time. Okay, so what are we doing with this palette? Let's do this. Let's go in here with the cream. I hope I don't regret this. Get some of this gold because it is a beautiful gold. Oh my goodness. 
she is snoring. Well, that's more of like a... Is my mirror that dirty? I'm going to go in with this beautiful bronzy looking color. Here, let me swatch these for you. Here's the gold that I put on just now. And this is the one I'm putting on. Are these pretty? This one right here? What is this? Okay, I'm going to I'm going to leave that alone for now until I get the rest of my face done. I'm going to use the Sephora Make No Mistake concealer. I don't remember if I have used this or not. Using my Kat Von D and Petal to set it with. Since I'm pretty fair, I'm going to pull out my Better Bronzer because really when I'm this fair is really the only time I really I notice it showing up very much. So far, I am liking what I'm seeing with these. I've had these on. We've had the furnace guy here and everything. I've had my face done for probably two and a half hours now. I will leave in the description how it looked throughout the day. Okay, thank you all so much for getting ready with me and chit-chatting. I hope that you have a wonderful day.